Hello everybody and welcome to my next game development uh to sorry not tutorial my next game development video. So in this video I'm going to be uh, showing you a bit of the extra stuff I've done before. So last video you have seen that I've I've got everything set up the menus and stuff and showing the hair and stuff and how you can select it but now I've added in a preview a section so you can actually preview your player what it's going to look like when you're actually finished designing it uh so i'm i'm going to be i'm going to be showing you that right now now i have yet to get all the images but the algorithm is completely done so now you can actually design your whole character so once i add in the images you'll be able to design your character from ground up whether it's male or female and then i'm going to add a done button or whatever so then once you're done you can click that and therefore the game will continue on from there uh so i'm i'm going to be after after the character creation i'm going to be doing like uh like kind of like uh choosing a class like whether you're um a knight or a paladin or or any of those basic rpg classes and then depending on your class uh what you choose like say you choose a knight uh the default attack will be like say like at the, the power will be at 10 or and maybe the defense will be at five or et cetera, et cetera. And then you'll have like ten uh ten skill points, whatever to distribute to whatever attribute you want to distribute to. Uh I know a lot of people don't like that type of system. Some people like, some people don't. I like it that way because it gives you it gives your player more personality. It gives it so you can modify your player any way you want to. Rather than if you choose a knight class if you choose a knight class, then uh, or your or your attack is going to be much stronger than your defense, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, what I'm trying to do with the skill point system is that uh, you influence the the type of the 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 attributes that are supposed to be uh, the best and the ones that aren't supposed to be the best, but uh, it's still up to you to choose. So say like you level up uh, and uh, you're a knight or whatever, you'll be able to add say maximum, and say you get like 10 skill points. Uh, for attack, you'll be able to put maximum 5 skill points to that. And say for something that's supposed to be on the lower end, like say defense or something like that, or magic or something like that, there you can only add like 1 or 2 skill points to that. So you can still add to magic or something like that or, or and such but it, you will influence uh influence the attributes that are supposed to be increased the most so it kind of gives you variety uh, uh originality you can customize your character any way you want it to be customized uh but anyways uh that that is for the future though i'm so i'm going to be showing you what is going on with the game right now Okay, so I, I got the splash screen kind of fixed, right? And so everything, the enter screen's uh, there. Now, right here, I know it's really, really hard to see the text, but I was just trying to uh, test the parallax, a different parallax background to see if uh, my algorithm was correct. So, yeah, it looks nice, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, if I keep it, I'm gonna have to change the text color. So if I click new game, then it shows the creation, so I'm creating the screen. Now, if you see on my right, right here, uh, you you see my player. So the preview. So you can change uh, the position with the W A S D keys. You can check the orientate, change the orientation where the player is looking or where it's facing. And so right now, I got the race, the hat, the hair, and the shirt. Uh, so for example, if I go to hat. Uh, I can select any hat I want. I know these hats are kind of ugly right now, but I'll add some more to it later. So notice in the preview panel, it adds it to the hat. If you go to hair, you can select the hair, and it puts the hair right where, the, where it's supposed to be, etc., etc. If you select the shirt, say I select the red shirt, goes on. Yeah, all red swag. Yup. So then you can change that. And if you go to race. Uh, I just said that you could choose between white or black, so if you click that, it will change it to a black character. Uh, and I have yet to put in the pants, the shoes, and the add-ons. I'm gonna be adding more shirts, more hair, more hats, etc., etc., but I'm trying to get the base stuff down. 
uh so i can distribute it to my website so you guys can uh, can try it basically uh this is kind of like a demo i'm putting together so i'm i'm not putting all the stuff um all the types of images i want maybe one or two pants etc etc and i just want to get all the core gameplay done and then you add and then i'll add in all the other assets that i, I want to incorporate within the game but yeah uh that is essentially it for this update oh yeah and also last but not least like if you if you don't like the hair or say you want your character to be bald or, or say you don't want a hat all you have to do is just um click the category and click n for none or or whatever i might change it to c for cancel and then it would disappear so then yeah you won't need a um, so you won't have that item anymore. So you want to start from scratch. You just go to each character, and then it will erase it. Uh, so that is it for this game development video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're looking forward to my stuff in the future. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and bye.